In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Excel called Autofill. I've got some labels up here at the top indicating what we're going to fill underneath. Um, when you have certain sequences in Excel, Excel makes it real easy for you to fill in those sequences. One of those is when you have a sequence of days. So I'm going to put Monday in the first cell here. I'm going to go back and reselect the cell. And I'm going to get my fill handle. And I'm going to take it all the way down to row 20. And it just continues to um, increment the days for me. So uh, all you need is the starting one, and just get your fill handle and drag it down, and it will fill in all the rest for you. Uh, it also will let you do three-letter abbreviations for the days. So if I type in a three-letter abbreviation that it recognizes as a day, uh, and select a cell and get my fill handle and click and drag, I will get a sequence of days. Uh, Note that it only works for three-letter abbreviations. If you tried doing a two-letter abbreviation or a four-letter abbreviation or something like that, uh, it doesn't understand those. Uh, it does the same thing for months as you might expect. So if I type in uh, May and hit Enter and then get my fill handle and click and drag all the way down, I will get the names of the months. And if I type in a three-letter abbreviation, obviously this doesn't work for May, but uh, if I type in June, J-U-N, and get a fill handle and drag that all the way down and then I get a three letter abbreviation so uh, you never have to type in a sequence of days or months you just have to do the first one and Excel will take care of the rest of it for you by the way uh, you can also uh, fill in to the right if you want to although most of the time you're probably going to be filling down let's undo that because I want to put some other things in these columns over here Excel also lets you do sequences uh, if I uh, want a sequence of numbers starting with one, say, uh, if I type in a one now, you might expect that it works the way that it did over here. And if I get the fill handle and drag all the way down, uh, I'll get a bunch of numbers, but all I get is the one. So let's undo that. And what it needs is it needs two numbers. It needs the first two numbers in the sequence. Now, again, if you just select the two here, it doesn't pay any attention to what's up above. And all I get is a bunch of twos, just like when I selected the one, I got a bunch of ones. The trick here is you have to select both of them. And when you've got the green selection box around them both, get your fill handle in the lower right hand corner and click and drag. And now it will uh, increase the numbers for you uh, based on whatever the difference was between these first two numbers here. Okay. You don't have to start with one. You don't have to increment by one. So I'm going to start here with 100. I'm going to put 110 in the next cell. So my increment value is 10. Select both of those. Get your fill handle, click and drag all the way down, and it will increment by tens all the way down. Uh, it also doesn't have to be whole numbers. If I start out with 1.75 and type in 2, the increment value there is 0.25. And if I select both of them, get my fill handle and drag it all the way down, uh, it has 0.25 on all the way down. Now, the default formatting here is general. So it needs two places for two digits to the right of the decimal point, but here it doesn't need any. Here it only needs one. Uh, it just looks funny. That way you probably want columns of numbers to all look the same. So let's click on the comma button here in, in the number formatting group, and now I think it's a whole lot easier to read. We can also do labels. Uh, let's say I, I am keeping track of test scores in a grade book. Uh, if I type in test one and get my fill handle and click and drag all the way down, uh, it will increment the numbers for me. And this can be any whole number again, too. It doesn't have to be uh, a one. If I make that uh, uh, 100 and go back and get my fill handle and click and drag all the way down, uh, it just increments starting with 100. And it doesn't really matter what the text is out here in front. You know, if I've got, you know, something like year 2020 and I want a list of years uh, following that, I can just do this and it will give me a bunch of years. So you put basically any text in front of any whole number. And uh, when you use the fill handle and click and drag, uh, it will increment whatever that whole number is by one every time you fill it into another cell. Now, there's one exception to this, and that is if it starts with the letter Q. So I'm going to put Q1 in here, and I'm going to get my fill handle. I'm going to click and drag all the way down. And you can probably figure out that what Q uh, is assumed to mean is quarters. And so it puts in 1 through 4, but once it gets past 1, then we start over with, uh, I'm sorry, once it gets past 4, we start over with the number 1. Um, there are two other versions of this. Uh, there's a QTR, 
and the space here is optional. You also don't have to start with quarter one. You start with some other quarter, but one seems like a reasonable place to start. And get my fill handle and drag it all the way down. And the other one is if you spell out the entire word. And I'll start with a four this time. And get my fill handle and drag that all the way down. And it increments by one all the way down. So uh, autofill can make it really easy for you to type in uh, known sequences. Uh, all you got to do is help Excel get started and it will help you figure out the rest.